When Hitler threatens the world, an elite squad of battle-hardened German Shepherds are sent in to take him down. The only problem is, they sent the trainees. The Puppies of War, Tuesdays at 9.30. But first, we have the very next episode of SWF Showdown. Gentlemen, and welcome to SWF Showdown. SWF Showdown is our house show where we showcase superstars who are not on the card for our main show, Rebellion. Tonight we've got a hell of a matchup, two matchups for you guys. Starting off first, we have a women's matchup. Our maidens are going to be battling out two of the newest members of the SWF roster. Following that, we will have a triple threat match, which will start off a tournament of sorts for our internet championship. But before we get into all of that, let's welcome down to the ring. She is five foot five inches, weighing 130 pounds. She is from the other side of darkness. It is Jane Abigor. Now, as I said, Jane is one of the newer members of SWF, was not a part of the original 25-person roster, uh, but we have since grown to about 37 people, including our maidens. We have about 24 men and 10, okay, 10 women. Um, well, we have a little bit more than that, actually. We have about 12 women. So, about 36 people. Um, and then, like I said, this show is uh, to showcase those members who are not on the Rebellion main card. We had a single house show so far with just one match. It was Duke Zenda and Brett Storm. And look at this. Making their way to the ring. The latest trio and latest group. The Blonde Beauty Club. It is made up of Angelina Lane, Brittany, and Ashley. Making her way to the ring. Accompanied by the Blonde Beauty Club. She is 5 foot 5 inches, 200 pounds, from New York, New York, Angelina Lane. Giving the two sweet out to the crowd as her fellow members make their way to, apron, to the apron. Angelina Lane pumped up, ready to show these people and ready to show SWF. How she plans on making her way to that Maidens Championship. Even though she's not in the tournament, but that doesn't necessarily mean a person is out of contention for that championship. Anything can happen here in the SWF, and anything will happen here in the SWF. But here we go. Referee, ring that bell. Here we go on showdown. These ladies lock up in the center of the ring. Angelina. Wow. Wow. Spinning Michinoku driver, center of the ring, right there on the brand new Showdown logo. Angelina now, kick to the gut. Pump handle it looks like, oh my goodness, a pump handle fall away slam. It's a pretty brutal move so far from Angelina Lane. <coughs> nice suplex there from Jane. She's going to go straight after Angelina. These ladies putting it all on the line here tonight. And whoa, what a spine buster from Jane. Are we going to see the Blonde Beauty Club get involved? I don't know. They are just right out there at ringside. And as I just said, anything can happen. So we will have to keep an eye on that. 
bringing Angelina up to one knee now. Now Jane hooking up the pump handle, and she drops Angelina right on her back. Jane climbing up to the second rope, and big elbow drop. Very nice move from Angelina, or excuse me, from Jane. And now she's going to work the neck of the beauty club leader. Just cranking away, my goodness. Jane wasting no time. Picks Angelina up, back to her feet now. Elbow to the face. And now she's going to send her into the corner. Those beauty club members standing right there are getting a perfect view of this. Jane now sending Angelina all the way up top. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Middle rope fall away slam and now just the choking. Come on ref. Can't blatantly choke in front of the ref. He's going to go down for the pin. Now one. No. Just a one count. And again, cranking away on that neck. You get yourself a stiff neck, you're going to have a hard time doing anything in the ring. So far, Jane has been in total control. Minus those few matches there, at the, or a few moves at the beginning. She's got Angelina up over her shoulders and drops her right across that top rope. Not being as, as tall as that top rope. Hold on, we got to pin one, two, no. Being shorter than the top rope and then being dropped across it means you, your feet don't hit the ground before you hit that rope and your body takes the full force of that steel cable. Look at the kicks from Angelina. Hooks her up in a butterfly and oh my goodness butterfly face plant right there across the knees. And now Angelina's going to go to the second rope. Nope. Jane's making her way to her feet. So Angelina second guesses herself. Up to her feet now. A shot to the stomach. And look at this. Oh my gosh. Angelina drops Jane right on her, on her neck across that knee. Nice move there. And she's going to go for the pin off of that move. One, two, just a two count. Handful of near falls so far. Kick to the back now. I'm interested to see what the Blonde Beauty Club has in store for SWF. They are not only the first tag team, but the first group here in SWF. A little snapmare whip. And she's picking her up. Look at this. Oh, and a, geez, a headbutt right to the face of Jane. Angelina, look at this, stomping her, and a big elbow right across the face. For being such a self-proclaimed beauty, beauty, she uh, has all the right moves. Now she's going to go for the pin. Yes, it she is right on the showdown logo. One. No. Just a one count from Jane as she was able to kick out. Knees to the back. And look at this. She's hooking her up. And she's going to stretch her out. Knee right into the middle of the back. Really putting the force on it right there. Jane is struggling to get loose. And it looks like. Yes, she does get loose, and she flips Angelina. Nice move there. Nice out. Big slap to the face. Uh-oh. Look at this. Huge sit-out powerbomb, and Jane goes for the pin. One, two. Wow. Wow. What a close pin that was. 2.9. Angelina is able to kick out. Getting up to her feet now. Hooks her up. Throws her. Suplex into a throw. Jane tosses Angelina out like garbage. Gut wrench. Side slam from Jane. A lot of powerful moves for such a little gal. Never judge a book by its cover. That is for sure. She's going to pick... 
Angelina up now. Look at this. Holy cow. She just flat tossed her over her head. She's going to go for the pin. One, two, no. Two count here on showdown in our first matchup of the night. And now again, working the neck of Angelina. But she's able to wiggle herself free with a big shot to the stomach. Kick after kick, she ducks one, but Jane catches it right on the chin. One, two. Wow. Jane returns the favor with such a close count. Angelina in control now. What's she doing here? Oh my goodness, a diving body splash from the apron. And now she's going to deadlift Jane and... oh. Huge slam from Angelina. Another. Look at this. A second slam. Twisting her in midair and throwing her hard down onto the mat. What are we going to see here? Another stomp. Follows it up. Big elbow right to the face and immediately jumps on for the pin. One. Two. Oh my goodness. Look at the face of Angelina Lane. What does she have to do to get the victory here? Angelina yelling at Jane to get up to her feet. Look at this. Elbow to the back of the head. That's got to be it. A shot to the back of the head like that can really scramble your brain. One, two, three, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Angelina Lane has just defeated Jane Abigore. My goodness. We see this here after a stomp on the face. She catches an elbow to the face, but responds. Nice sit-out powerbomb from Jane Abigore. And you see this choke toss here. My goodness. What a devastating move that is. And exhausted before she goes over and goes for the pin. But we know she only gets a 2.9 out of that one. Ducking the kicks, but catching one right across the chest area. And again, we see that there. Going for the pin. And she gets the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Angelina Lane, the leader of the Blonde Beauty Club. matchup ladies and gentlemen is scheduled for one fall and it is a triple threat match in a tournament for the internet championship making his way to the ring he is six foot three inches tall weighing in 251 pounds from London, England, William Parker.
Real shit, no lie. Look, I've been up four days straight without sleep. I seen a level nigga really wanna leave. Pick up the pen and the pad, I bust my ass to attain that shit. And I'ma spit the realest back off of the back. I'm on my neck, I'm fucking this. I'm the yak. And his opponent. Weighing in at six feet tall. 212 pounds. Parker back to his feet now, preventing the pin. And 
now he's got Feist and a couple of elbow shots right to the top of the head. And now Vice has to take a breather. Siler Jordan catching a German suplex. A couple of shots to the head. He likes that move. He's really trying to damage the brains of these guys. He goes for the pin, but just a one count. Parker now looking at his handiwork. Vice slides back in just in time for Parker to get out in a springboard elbow drop from the big man. By backbreaker to Vice now. Parker goes right after Vice. Oh my. What a DDT that was. Vice standing straight up and down almost. Working that arm. Siler Jordan. Catches a knee across the face. And he has been, he's been really getting a beating here. Not even a one count. Wow. He is not going to give up that easily. Stomp to the back. And a throwback here. A flipping, just bending that neck. Vice waits for Parker to get to him before punching him. And a nice short arm clothesline. Parker rolls out of the ring. Vice going on the pin now. Two. No. The natural born thriller is not going to give up that easily. Vice picks him up. Got him up. Oh my goodness. What a move there by Vice. The royal palm as he goes for a pin. No. Two count and Parker's back in the ring. Misses a shot, but he catches it that time. He catches it that time, and he hooks Vice up from the mat. Nice suplex there. And a look at the Natural Born Thriller trying to take advantage here with that pin attempt. Quickly broken up by Parker, though. Parker calling Vice up to his feet. And Siler Jordan interrupts, and he don't care. Sending Parker. Oh boy. Look at this. Picking him up. Putting him on the top rope. DDT from the top. My goodness. He goes right after Vice. What's he going to do here? Watch out, ref. Oh. Jamming Vice right into that top turnbuckle. Vice rolling out of the ring. Siler now in control. Throwing. Parker across the ropes and a big knee. Big knee. But he wastes no time. Picks him up. Oh my goodness. What a cutter right into a dragon submission move. My goodness. He is able to work himself out of that though. Siler going at. Look at this. Oh, jumping. Complete shot. Everyone lays out on the mat. Natural Born Thriller on one knee. And who is going to get, get regain their consciousness? Looks like Siler Jordan and Vice first. Big cutter right there. Two. And he kicks out, but my goodness, Parker was there just in time to save it. Vice rolls out of the ring, and Siler calls that cutter. Lights out. Oh, look at this. Oh, well, it looked like it looked like William Parker was going to set up for something, but instead catches an elbow. And now Siler Jordan going for the pin. One, two, no. A kick out at two. Both of these guys are going after Parker. A kick to the back from Vice and then Siler Jordan. Oh, nice. Nice move there. Siler Jordan with the forearm rakes. And he has dropped Vice. He's going to drag him out now. Going for the pin. One, two, no. Just a two count. My gosh. A headbutt there from Jordan. Parker making his way up to his feet over there. Jordan sends Vice into the corner. And 
Jeez. And a DDT from Parker. My goodness. Well, missing the big boot now. And a overhead belly to belly to Jordan. My goodness. Jordan was in full control, it looked like. But now Parker seems to have derailed that situation over the top rope. Only to get a shot in the gut. And power bombed to the outside. Parker not letting Jordan catch any kind of breather. He's going to throw him back in the ring here. And is he just throwing him back in the ring to go for the pin? No. Parker's hooking him up with that camel clutch. Device breaks it up. Nice springboard kick there from the second rope. One, two, and Parker is able to kick out. Parker's able to kick out a stomp to the face by Vice. And oh my goodness, just wrenching the face. Is Parker going to tap out? The ref is right there, but no, Parker's able to escape. And he goes after Siler Jordan, who moves out of the way. And again, dodging it. Vice going after Lice Press. A couple of shots to William Parker. Siler Jordan now seeing Vice a little vulnerable. Ripcord knee right to the face of Vice, and oh man, he has got him locked in here, he's got him locked into this triangle hold type submission move, Parker slides in, but Vice is able to get out of it, and drops Jordan hard onto the mat, butterfly, oh backbreaker, my goodness, nice move by Vice, but Jordan's hooked him up here. Picks him up and drops him down. Vice has been busted open, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to go for the pin on Vice. The ref runs over. Two. And that's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. With that pedigree maneuver, he catches it. He is able to put out Vice and win this triple threat my gosh that triangle choke the throw throw more a lock vice was able to get out of look at that cutter right there the lights out on vice and he goes for the pin but is unable to connect it there wow ladies and gentlemen your winner is Siler Jordan and he is going to be the first entrant into the tournament for the internet championship that's going to be all it for us folks thanks you channel 8 for hosting our show ladies and gentlemen we'll see you back here for SWF Rebellion